All right, so I have my character movements set. So I'm going to hit return so I don't lose them. And now I can see if that's a good difference. Oh, I hadn't animated the bird yet, so let me animate it. So I can do puppet warp. That's where we ended the last video. I'm going to pin the foot, pin the wings. I don't need to worry about the head. The head is not able to move on its own right now. It doesn't have a skeleton attached to it anymore. And now I can flutter the wings a little bit. This body can be freaking out. Turn off the one behind it. And then let's see, before I copy it over, make sure all the elements are moving. Now remember, I could add even more. I was thinking I'd have a pizza start showing up, a pizza sun. I'm remembering that now. <laughs> so I have that element. So I can play with that and just see how far that gets. Maybe it's going to peek over the horizon right here. I'm going to set a little guide there so I know. So it goes from this now to this. I'm actually going to make it really, really subtle. But you're going to see it in the animation, that sun start to come up. All right, so how do I bring it all over? I flatten it. So layer, flatten image. It shows me that warning and knows I did something dangerous. So now I have to be on my game. I don't want to be distracted. I want to select all, Command A. I want to copy all, edit, copy, Command C. Then I want to click in my history before I flattened. So I see all my layers. Then I go to the stage, go to the top layer of the stage, and I say edit, command V, paste. And it's a little weird that the, the pizza starts coming up at the same time the head comes up. So I'm going to change my idea there. That's what's so nice about having assets, is you can just change your, your direction completely. So instead, I'm going to move the pizza in from the corner, right here. So as the head's coming up, the pizza is going to start appearing. So same thing. Layer. Flatten image. Command A. Command C. Go before I flattened it. Click on stage, command V. Yeah, I like that better. Now, save it. So I'm adding something that's not in my storyboard, the, the pizza, but it's just a secondary thing. But I have to keep it in mind. I can't forget about the pizza all of a sudden because you expect things in the sky to move at a consistent rate. Next. I just want to see my history really clearly. I'm going to move the pizza. And I'm going to duplicate it. And then move it down a little bit. I need to do this evenly. Pretty slowly, too. So I'm going to do a half inch at a time using my guides. Okay, now I can move the rest. Got to think it through. I've got the neck. I'm moving that backwards. And then I duplicate the hand, and I move it up to match. All right, so let's see how that's different. This to this. This. Command O to center it. Command O to center it. This. Come on. Command O. There we go. This to this. 
Okay, now I want to move the body. Again, you duplicate it so you can always reproduce the frame if you need to, even though it can be a pain. There's a reason I'm not an animator. There's a lot of it that's just kind of an arduous pain to me, but it's something. And I'm just going to move the body that way, tilt it up, flex it out a little bit, pull in the wing. So from this to that, yep, that works. Okay, what do I do? I can save it before I flatten it, but never after I flatten it. So I say layer, flatten image, dismiss the warning. Command A to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Click before I flattened it, go to the stage, and then paste it in, Command V. I'm using the shortcuts because shortcuts really help. As long as you understand the steps. Now I'm gonna move the pizza. I'm gonna always start at the pizza. I'm working my way up. And I'm going to go a half inch so I can use my guides. Oh, that's a little too far. That's a little too far. I'm going to do quarter inch. I can actually set all those stages right here. Yeah, because that's a quarter inch movement right there. Okay, so it's going to go from that to that to that. Nope, a little less. This is how you coordinate camera moves, zooms, pans. You use these guides and you kind of set the distance. was there now it's got to be to that third one I'm moving at a slight angle as I go good okay that works okay next so commando commando just to center it from that to that so now I have the pizza in the right place. Now the bird. First I do the neck, I work from the bottom up. And then I do the head on the neck. It's pretty high up there. And then I do the hand, duplicate it, and bring it to match. You can always use your little arrow keys too to nudge things into place. It's not need to be perfect. Okay, now the bird's body. The headless bird body. Duplicate. Edit puppet warp. Pin the foot. The leg. I can really stretch it up if I want. Pull that back down a little bit. Because this bird should be freaking out. If it were me, I'd be freaking out. Cool. You can almost hear the accordion sound. Okay, now how do I bring this over? Save it first, and then I'm going to say Layer, Flatten Image, Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all. Cl click before Flatten, and then move to your stage, and Command V to paste it in. So Command A to copy, no, I'm sorry, Command A to select it all, Command C to copy, 
click before you flatten the image to get your layers back, and then click on your stage and command V to paste it in. That's what's called a workflow. It's always going to be those same steps. Yeah, it's just the, the things you do in the order you do them, a procedure. You can even program those into Photoshop through something called Actions. But it's when we're just learning, it's really good to understand them from the beginning. So first, you make the frame you want. So I need to make my next frame. Then you select it all with Select All. Command A is the shortcut for that. It shows you right there. Then you copy it all, edit, command C, so it's edit, copy, the shortcut's right there. Then you go back before you flattened it in your history to get all your layers back. And then you click on your stage and you do edit, paste, command V to put it all in. So if it helps to write those down, it's command A, command C, then command V. Those are the shortcuts. And then you're flattening and then unflattening in between those. So I've gotten to this part now of the animation. In eight frames, pretty efficiently, this is my story. So it goes like this. And I've added that pizza coming in. Now, I actually want to do this a few times, I think. So, I'm going to see how long it takes for the pizza to fully set. So, again, I turn on all my frames in my stage because it's working. And now, I set up my next frame and it's going to go back down. Now, the question is, do I want to just let go of the head like that, and then let it come back down, or not? Or do I want to push it down? I think it's more interesting. If I just want to push it down, I can just run the animation backwards like this. Right? Except for that pizza. So I think it's more interesting if it goes back down at a different speed. So that's what I'm going to try. So to do that, I'm now going to have the hand let go. And I'm going to be kind of dramatic about it. I'm going to have the hand let go by building those assets. So first, make a copy of the hand. Put it up above. Not the hand with the head, just the hand. Set it up where it was before. Right? And this time, I'm going to pivot the hand. And instead of using Puppet Warp to pivot the hand, I'm just going to cut it right here. And then just transform that one part. Just pivot it back like that. And then put it back in. So that does it all on one layer. Now I'm going to transform that whole thing and pivot it like that. So the idea is it's going to look like it let go with both the thumb and the finger. You see? Okay, now I need to put this head back down. right there, but I want the head to look sharper this time. So I'm going to move it up above, right? So again, it goes from this now to this. This is different. It's letting go. From that to that. My pizza I have to change. Don't forget my pizza. I turn on my guides. I move my pizza sun. I'm going to be on the move tool. One more slot. Come on, pizza sun. Oh, I need to duplicate it. Sorry. That's why I'm having trouble. There we go. And I want to move the body a little bit. So 
I got a lot of components, even on a simple animation. If you really think through everything, there's